Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. It's raining outside so I can't do an outdoor read today, but I am reading another great Indigenous story called We Are Australians and it's written by Duncan Smith and Nicole Godwin and illustrated by Jen Damara Cad. And someone told me that this is actually a little girl on the Sunshine Coast's face. Let's see what the blurb has to say. Not very much today. What does it mean to be a citizen of Australia? Oh, I love the dot painting. To my Wajuri people, to Australia's First Nations people who have so much to teach. The rest of us just have to listen. She's very right. And we acknowledge all of the traditional owners of the land as we read this story about our land, Australia. We are Australians. We are citizens of our family, of our school, of our classroom, of our community, of our church, of our street, of our team, of our suburb, of our town, of our state, of our country, of the world. We're citizens of so many things. Citizens just means you're a part of something, something bigger than just you. As citizens of Australia, we have rights. How beautiful are the colours? And we have responsibilities. We need to look after the land. All of these things she's holding are things from the land that you can live on and eat. But we are also part of something bigger. Australia's First Nations people have lived on and cared for country for tens of thousands of years. Look at the beautiful dot painting. And um, this I recognise as the Glasshouse Mountains. This one here is Tibrigargan. This one is um, Crookneck. And this one is Beerburrum. Beautiful. That would take a very long time to paint. First Nations culture and knowledge live through song lines and are shared through dance story and celebration. We do that at school too. Put some paint on our faces and sing some Indigenous songs. Other citizens have travelled to make Australia their home. They have brought their own traditions and celebrations. Australia is unique and so is what each of us brings to it. So did you notice that the boys have a line and the girls have dots. It is up to us to be part of the present and to act for the future, to know our history, to connect with the people who have lived here for thousands of generations, to acknowledge on whose land we walk. Even the butterflies done in dot painting, that's a great idea. We did some... Um, chalk drawings on bark today in my arts activity club. Embrace the first languages of our place. It can be tricky to learn First Nation languages, but it's very important we keep passing the languages down because if we don't practice them, we'll lose them. Connect to living, breathing country that holds memories and sustains us. Our treatment of the land will affect those yet to come. Damp our feet, wake up the ancestors, let the dust settle on our skin. Some people call it earthing when you just have no shoes on and you walk around the earth and you just let feel the sand, feel the stone, feel the grass, feel the dirt. Listen deeply to stories. <gasps> painting. Imagine how many lines that artist had to paint to get that beard looking just right. That's a wonderful painting. Listen deeply to stories, to points of view, to country. 
got to listen to each other, haven't we, and be respectful. Then we have to treasure our differences and use our voices to speak up and stand together as citizens of, as Australians. Citizens of Australia timeline. So this is quite a big involved timeline. I'll do that in my number two book because it is quite long to read. But very important because that's a part of our history in Australia. And there's the beautiful dot painting again. That is a fantastic book full of amazing artwork that I reckon some of you could have a go at. Thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime and I hope you click and subscribe and I will catch up with you soon. Look, speaking of Australia, how amazing is the sunset tonight? Check it out. It's so pretty. That is amazing colour in the sky. All right, I will see you soon with another great story to read.